our question this week, and we'll get to it eventually, is what are eclipses? But to understand eclipses, we have to know what are in the night sky, and we need to know how they move, and we also need to know what are the seasons, and all that's related to what we're going to do today. So if you guys are planets, one way the planets move is that they have an axis, and that's called what? When they spin on their axis, we call that rotation. rotation. Show me one rotation. All right, stop. Oh, you broke my heart. When you rotate, you should say something to me. Try rotate. again. No. <laughs> one more time. Everybody, rotate. Okay. Oh, really I'm going to give you a hint. When I don't see your pretty face, you should say good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, good night. Okay. But when I see your pretty face, well, let's find out. Ready? Good Everybody, morning. rotate. Good morning. Because every time the Earth rotates on its axis, that is 24 hours, right? One day. That's rotation. Okay. Now, how many times does the Earth rotate in a year? What? What? 365. 365. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It'd be like. A Tasmanian devil. All right, now let's say that these desks are the sun. Here's another way that the earth moves. And that is not rotation, but no, that's rotation, my friend. What is it? Revolving. Revolving. Let's revolve in a ca uh, counterclockwise direction. Show me one revolution. Orbit around your desks. Go on, push that chair in. Slow down. You're not at Mercury. You're not the fastest planet at Mercury. No rotating yet. Stop! Stop! You broke my heart again! Oh! No! No! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! How many times you go around just there? Uh, one, two. So, you say happy, happy New Year, and how old are you? Eleven. No, you're one. Come on. All right, this time, I want a Happy New Year, and I want to tell me how many, because every time you orbit the sun, you and you can guess later how many times I've over the sun. Watch it. Zero. No. Ready? Go. Go. Rotate. Uh, revolve. 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 What are you going to say to me? Happy New Year! 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 We would never want the Earth. We would never want the Earth, or uh, to freeze when it's rotating. Like if the Earth rotates right now, okay? That's a ball. No, this is the Earth. This is a model. Very good for you to identify that. But uh, this is the Earth. And use your imagination, like it's a translation. The Earth is moving. If this stopped like this, all the mountains, all the lakes, all the people, all the buildings would keep going and destroy themselves in like one second. So we don't want the earth to stop rotating all of a sudden. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? Okay, I'm glad you asked that question in such a nice way. When the earth is rotating, it's like, okay, you're driving in a car down the highway. You may be going 55 miles an hour, but you don't feel 55 miles an hour because you only feel the changes in motion. So you're driving down the highway, your dad slams on the brakes, what are you going to do? You're going to keep going, right? So on the earth, if the earth is rotating, if it stopped all of a sudden, everything not held down would keep going. And it would destroy everything. So we're going to space, right? We are in space. We are the space. The earth is in space. All right, so wait a minute. Here comes the really interesting part. So when you rotate slowly, slow-mo rotate, slow-mo rotate, slow-mo rotate, here we go. Good night. Rotate. Good morning. Oh, birds are chirping. Okay. Very good. Now, here's the hard part. Without being hurt, I would like you to show me how the Earth actually moves around the sun, which is rotation and revolution. Don't get hurt. Don't. Happy Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Be careful. Be careful. All right, stop, stop. Okay. All right, let me show you something. This is a model, and all models have limitations, but scientists use models all the time because it can make us go places where we can't go or see things too big or things that are dangerous. 
So this is a model of the sun and the earth. But I want you to know there's two things wrong with this model right off, three things right off the bat. First of all, the sun, compared to the earth, the sun would be about eight feet in diameter compared to an earth this big. The sun is massive, number one. Number two, the distance between the earth and the sun it was really wrong. And number three, when I rotate this around, the earth is supposed to rotate Six, 365 times, it only does it 16. Check it out. Move back. What do you see? So you see. So we see two things going on here. You see the earth revolving and rotating. You see that? Yeah. Now forget about this. I'm going to take that off. So what is this thing right here? Now look at the moon. See, wherever this earth moon moves, you should see a different phase, right? Oh, oh. so interesting. Oh, waxing. Now look. Now, if you're on the earth, that would be pretty much a new moon because you look and you don't see anything because it's shadows. But if you're over here like that, solar eclipse. Oh, we'll talk about eclipses next. You guys are on it. All right, so help me, would you help me when I'm on this side, push it around on that side so I can do it better? There you go. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> <scary>. <laughs> yeah. So, here's a question. We'll do this a couple times. I asked you about seasons. Now, look, at this earth is tilted. See how What's it's this? tilted? That, yeah, that is supposed to show, like, Mercury, the planet closest. Sorry. That The Mercury goes around every 88 days. It takes us. Can you see the difference? Look how this orbit is so Sorry. much. Thank you. All right, forget about Mercury for a minute. Oh, that's right. Mercury is named after one of the uh, ancients, the winged messenger, because he goes so fast. fast. You don't want to have a turtle as your messenger, right? You want to have Mercury. So Mercury is fast because, look, at 88 days, it travels around the sun. If you're on Mercury, how old are you? How many trips around the Earth have you made, or the sun have you made? How old are you? How many times do you go around the thing there? I'm 12. Uh, How old are you? 12. So you've made 12 trips around the sun. Okay, Mercury, if you look on Mercury right now, you would be about 47 years old. Because Mercury goes around. You don't want to have a, you don't want to have a birthday on Pluto or Neptune because it takes hundreds of years to go around. You would never live. No, no. <laughs> now check this out. Look, look. Here's what why we have seasons. You probably why do we have seasons? He said. What, what causes seasons? He said, and the class answered. Ro rotation of the Earth. Rotation, revolution. But there's one other very important thing. I'm gonna try to show this. The angle, mind. The angle, the moon. The uh, moon. We're, we're now we're just guessing, but it's okay. But this is Jeopardy. You just lost some money. Anyway. Uh, look, this is tilted 23 and a half degrees. The Earth is not, when it spins, it doesn't spin like this, straight up and down. It's actually tilted. That means sometime part of the year, the North Pole is pointing away from the Sun. Guess who's close to the Sun? Us. No, we live in the Northern Pole. South Pole. The South Pole. Look right now, which is closer to the Sun? Down here or up here? Down here. Down here. Down here. So the sun and people in Australia would be having summertime. What would we be having up here? Winter. Let's go six Dang. months later. I know. The summer wave six, of Australia. Six months later. And now look who's closer to the sun. Northern, yes. northern hemisphere, we're having summer. But here's the interesting part. Here's where it gets interesting. Halfway this way, it's equal. Oh, this is the fall, but it's called the equinox, because look, they're equal. We're coming up in, anybody know when the fall equinox is? It's coming up when the days are equal? Anybody? It's in September. What? Go say it. Make a guess. 21st or 22nd of September is the fall equinox. If the fall equinox is here, what are we going to call this when they're equal over here? Spring equinox. Spring equinox. All right, so hold that up. That's going to represent the earth. Hold it up a little bit higher if you can. Now, I'm the sun. I want you to follow. Can you guys see what's behind? What do you see behind this? The shadow. The shadow. That's the shadow. Can you see it? As the earth moves, see the shadow? Okay. Very good. Show me some rotation on that. He's rotating it. And still we have a shadow. Okay. Very good. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Very good. Let's add one more thing. Keep that up. Okay. Uh, let's see, someone I haven't picked yet. Yes, would you come? Me? Yes, please. Okay. Here is 
the shadow of the earth. Here's the moon, okay? Now, let's put the moon between the light and the earth. Okay, so wait. That's you hold the moon. It. That's the moon. Go ahead and put the earth between. Now, a little bit lower. Earth lower. There you go. What do you see on the earth right there? The shadow. So in our model right here, we have the earth and we have the moon going around. Now I want you to take a look at the shadows. All right, stop. Now right here, you can see there is a shadow of the moon on the earth. That is a solar eclipse. As a matter of fact, if I get even closer, look, the earth got completely dark because the moon blocked it. That's a solar. Whatever is said is being blocked. Earth, you're losing it, dude. <laughs> okay, moon, let's go slowly around, and let's see a lunar eclipse. Here comes the moon. It's going to go into the shadow of the earth. We can still see the moon. And I'll, hold it. Stop, stop. Back it up. Oh. Look. Can you get it? Now the moon has disappeared. Keep on coming around. Now we see the moon. Now, keep going. Keep going. All right, hopefully this will help you understand just a little bit more. Okay, so we've learned a lot about what's in the night sky, how does the Earth move, what are seasons, what are the different phases of the moon, and, and finally, what are eclipses. So remember, when there's an eclipse, whatever is said is a thing being blocked. And so when the moon goes in front of the sun, we can't see the sun, that's called a... Solar eclipse. And when the moon goes behind the earth in the shadow, we call that lunar eclipse. And let me ask, what's the Spanish word for moon? Luna. Luna. And there's an old saying that if you stare at the moon, you will become a vampire. I mean, werewolf. No. <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> so don't stare at the moon. Hey, so that's all right. why I'm like this. Is that why you're like that? Maybe. Okay. All right. that hey, if you stare at a full moon, you'll go crazy, right? Yeah. And that's where the term lunatic came from. That's another okay. one that we could study later. Okay, show us where the moon would be. The moon would be right here. In the, oh, thank you. Yeah. And then for what kind of eclipse? No, no. Uh, lunar, lunar. Okay. And for a solar eclipse, the moon would be in front of the Good job. This is my teacher, and she's going to explain us a little bit about rotations. So she is the Earth, and her pre her baby is the moon. So the moon rotates around the Earth. <laughs> what phase is this moon? Oh, <laughs> what would this be? <laughs> it's a full, full moon. <laughs> One more rotation. Okay. Never let it be said that you don't are not even 100% for science. <laughs>